Good day, everyone. I am Ms. Mbede for Report 191 Management Communication and 4. We continue with our Module 9, Part C, Business Letters. We are still using the same uh, material. Um, N4 communication and management communication, say it in plain English by Wade and Stiengamp. For this lesson, we are going to consider page 215 to page 233 of our textbooks. Lesson 4. In this lesson, we are going to consider the following modules or topics. Layout of a business letter, letter of inquiry, letter of complaint, Invitation letter, letter to the press. The layout of a formal letter or a business letter, we have looked at it previously in part A and part B of our module um, 9. Uh, you just have to remember that the, there must be a sender's address, a receiver's address. The name of the city or town must be written in capital letters. The date must be written in full. Uh, salutation or greeting must be on your left hand margin. Subject heading must be on your left hand margin and it must be written in capital letters. There are three paragraphs in your formal letter. It's your introduction paragraph, body and conclusion. When you are closing your letter, you close it with yours faithfully or yours sincerely. Yours faithfully, you use it if you know the name of, if you don't know the person, but yours sincerely, you use it when you know the person and you have communicated with the person previously. You put your signature, write your name in capital letters, write your capacity as well or your position in capital letters. Letter of inquiry. A letter of inquiry can be written by an individual or a company. It's when you are requesting information about a specific um, product, service, or a person. You are requesting from a certain company uh, information related to the product that you want to buy or to the services that they are offering in that particular organization. So you will write a letter of inquiry. A letter of inquiry, you follow the same um, business letter format. And then there are three paragraphs in a, a, a letter of inquiry. The first paragraph, which is your intro introductory paragraph, you create goodwill with a friendly opening. What do you need to inquire about and what is it for? In paragraph two, which is the body of your letter, you explain what is what information is required and explain as well um, your the information that you require in detail and give all the necessary details about the information that you need from the organization. You explain why you need the information for so that they will have a clear understanding why you need the information so that they can give you more um, information in terms of that particular product or that service that you are looking for. The last paragraph, which is the closing paragraph, you promote goodwill by expressing appreciation. Um, thank the company for receiving your letter and paying attention to uh, your um, inquiry. You will need to do practical activity 9.1 so that you will know exactly how to write a letter of inquiry. Letter of complaint. An, an organization or an individual can write a letter of complaint and um, if you are not happy about the product or service offered by a certain organization, you will need to write them a letter of complaint. A letter of complaint must be accurate and, fa and factual, never be emotional or sarcastic or rude when you are writing this letter. Never accuse or criticize or threaten the organization. Before you write a letter of complaint, you need to make sure that you get the facts. That's why we say it must be accurate and factual. You get the facts and you write, you investigate before you write the letter and complain to a particular organization. You follow the business letter format. The introductory paragraph, start your letter on a positive note to create goodwill. You thank the organization. Um, for the product that uh, you have um, requested or that you have bought from them. 
and then tell them what you have bought from them in order to be able to complain in paragraph two which is the body of your uh, letter that's where you explain the problem by providing all necessary and relevant information explain what loss or inconvenience you have suffered suggest the solution how the matter can be resolved let's say you have bought a suit for your wedding you will need to make sure that you explain what color the suit is and what size it was supposed to be what loss or inconvenience it has caused for you since it was not delivered in time if the problem was a delivery closing paragraph promote goodwill by expressing your appreciation in their cooperation and thank the organization uh, for uh, receiving your letter and making sure that they sort out the complaint as soon as possible do activity 9.4 so that you will understand what the letter of complaint is all about invitation letter an invitation letter it's whereby you invite a guest speaker or a special person into your um function um you explain why the person is invited provide all necessary information regarding the infant the function uh this letter must be written on a letterhead what you normally do as an organization you take your letterhead you write a letter using the business letter layout or format and invite a guest speaker to your function or to your special occasion for example during um our um, graduation ceremony we will invite a guest speaker to speak to our students uh, and motivate them um, and give them um, a, a, a advice on what they will expect uh, in the working environment so that's what you are doing when you are inviting a guest speaker to your function it has got three uh, paragraphs introductory paragraph explain why the person is being invited other paragraphs provide information about the function the date time venue and type of function provide information about the audience what type of audience uh, the the guest speaker will be speaking to is it the graduates or is it is it the elderly people so that when the person is preparing the speech is able to know the type of audience that they will be able to they will be speaking to they also provide information about the topic uh, maybe the theme of the day if there's a theme of the day so that when the guest speaker is creating a topic he or she will create a topic that is relevant to uh, the occasion or the function provide information about the guest travel and accommodation arrangements and expenses who will be paying for the accommodation and um travel arrangements of the guest speaker if it's your organization and who to contact in case of the travel arrangements another paragraph you need to ask for uh, for a reply by a certain date so that you will know that you've got a guest speaker for your function request for cv and recent photo so that you will be able to use it to introduce your guest speaker to the audience the closing paragraph you end with goodwill you make sure that um you thank the guest speaker in advance uh, for accepting your uh, invitation and make sure that um, you will provide all the necessary information if they need it and who to contact as well do activity 9.5 in terms of the invitation letter so that you will understand what the invitation letter is all about letter to the press and uh, now and again people write uh, letters to the press to express their opinions on economic political or social social or educational issues so when you are writing a letter to the press you write it with different reasons so the writer must give his or her full name and address uh, or provide a, a pseudonymy name that is a pen name for publication if he or she don't want to be a uh, to be uh, known by the public or the readers of the newspaper follow a layout of a business or formal letter when you are for writing a letter to the press the first paragraph you explain the reasons for writing this letter the second paragraph which is the body of the letter explain your topic and your points in detail giving facts statistics quoting other sources if you need to do so 
closing paragraph have a strong conclusion by take, uh, taking together your main arguments in one single sentence or leaving the readers with a thought a thought provoking question that is the letter to the press okay For your last activity, you will need to do a practical activity in terms of a letter to the press. Write a letter to your local newspaper today. Give your views about the 2020 pandemic, COVID-19 lockdown. What effects do you think it will have to the South African education system as a whole in 2020 and 2021 as well? This is the end of our topic nine. I hope you understand what to do and you will be able to do all the practicals, uh, preparing for your examinations and also preparing for your internal assessments as well. Thank you. Enjoy your reading or your studies.